Hello folks and welcome to Kerno EXP and we are going to go through Taylor's engine house. I'm filming this uh, with my new camera by the way folks. If you feel that it's not as good as some of the other ones that I've had, please comment below. So we are on the driving floor and uh, we'll just walk around. So these are the controls to the engine which I'll uh, just get to there we are so we've got the inlet the outlet and the equilibrium valve and to start an engine like this is not straightforward at all moving on here is the signal bell and it does sound right good are you ready here we go so that means a bait as you can see there all right original toolkit folks and as i say to a lot of folks uh some of those are two-man spanners the majority of the ones up high are obviously for one person but as you go down they get bigger and bigger over here oh this is the uh cylinder of the engine i'm just going to clean the lens a minute folks just bear with me there we go now over here we have the very top part of the clack valve and you can see it says east pool as you can see there look and then it says a date there you are folks that's when it was actually taken out and the lever of that if you can see that or no is made of hippo hide don't know how they found that out but they surely did so this is the main entrance uh, in it's where the public come in and uh, so we're now oh this is a interactive display what we have for the kids uh, they dress up in these and little flat caps and little clipboards and they do the engine house inspection which is proven to be very popular indeed Right, we'll just take the radio, we might need that. So up we go. Now this room here is known as the middle chamber. Top of the cylinder there as you can see. And there's a video there showing this engine actually working. Which is unique unique over here I'm not sure if we can pick it up or now we have uh, the names of the last crew that worked here uh, they're actually etched into the window and over here we have the bust of Trevivic aka Captain Dick pioneer of high pressure steam and uh, it would be nice to repatriate him to Cornwall and have him buried or interned into Truro Cathedral because apparently he's uh, buried in an unmarked grave in London which is wrong because he is the forefather of steam looking down at the inlet the outlet equilibrium top of the cylinder and then those grey bars up there are called the parallel motion and up above that is the bob and we'll go up and have a look at the bob because it is unique it's a bit windy today the wind is meant to be dying down right so we're on the top chamber now and this is the bob and that's where it was made and when it was made and it was made for Cambrai mine so I'm just going to go around to the door that around the corner you might get a bit of wind noise I do apologize folks the bearing 
looking down into the cylinder. Right, so I hope this video has come out all right. I'll have to review it. And if you liked it, press the like button, comment. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the location. Cheers and golf, folks.